Mr. Hawkins, the American Fur Company must continue trade even while your wagons are here. Your people must clear the entrance. I'll tend to it, Schwarzenbacher. Chisholm. I talked to all the folks on the train. There's not a medical man among them. Sorry. Thank you for your trouble, Hawkins. I wish there was something more we could do. The Widnick's been ailing so long, getting worse every day. She's feverish, she is. Burning like the embers of a fire. Mr. Chisholm. I don't hold this out as no remedy, but I've seen this root break a fever or two in my day. We are beholden. You, ma'am, it ain't no trouble. Brew her some tea and uh, give her as much as that as she'll take. We are greatly obliged. What do you make of the wagon, Master Min? Hmm? I think he fancies you. <laughs> he seems a decent man. I think he knows his trade. We'll know when we're on the trail, Lord willing. I want all my children with us, Abby. And Kawidna, too. Lord willing. Good morning, Miss Chisholm. Mr. Chisholm. Good morning, Miss O'Neill. I was wondering how... My sure. Thank you for the loan of it. I don't recall. Gideon gave it to me last night. I was shivering, just off. Stitching's real nice. Maybe you could show me how it's done sometime. Well, I'd be glad to. I was about to ask after your daughter-in-law. I hope she feels better. Thank you. What does it mean? Our sons are acting strange and feverish themselves. <laughs> Damn. Betsy? This time you get to help her, but next time... We'll draw again and you'll lose again. Nothing strange about two boys interested in Miss O'Neill. Come on, we best get home. Hello, Bo. Hi. Want me to carry something for you? Oh, how very thoughtful of you to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Well, good timing. You just missed Paul. I wasn't trying to avoid him. But tell him you finally set the marriage date. Kid, the Lord took six days to make the world. Give me a couple more days. Where is the fire in my heart? Bonnie Sue's been out the cabin all morning. How's Quidnick doing? About the same. And how's Will holding out? Like you'd expect. Don't fret so, Will. She's going to be all right. Fever gone down any? Not enough to notice. 
I wish this deed had some effect. If we was home, we could boil some poke plant leaves. Virginia's a world away. Aye, but the Lord ain't. Isn't giving me any sign. Don't blaspheme, son. Find strength in the Lord. I looked for strength when he took Elizabeth, Pa. Wasn't there. Will. If a man be blessed with a second love, when the first is taken from him, then a truly caring Lord... Don't challenge the Lord, Will. Pray to him. You pray to him, Pa. I think you're on better terms with him. Miss Chisholm. Good evening, Mr. Hackett. Don't you think it's a bit cold out here for our child? He was concerned for all your bastard offspring. This one will be no bastard when you marry me. I'm still not sure I've made the right decision about you. The father of your child. Now, you became that before I knew you as a gambler and a rover. Who you saved from a hangman's noose. You will allow me that one mistake. Of course, being married will take some getting used to. But I swear to you, Bonnie Sue, I'll give it my best. And you'll swear never to touch a deck of cards again? That's asking a lot. Thought I'd be a family man. I'm liking it too. Hackett. What is it? Come with me. Hurry. Miss Chisholm, go to your room and lock the door. O'Neill, you and your brother upstairs. You too, Doyle. Wait for our fire. Spread out quick and start shooting. people come to trade in a peaceable way. Hmm? Uh, they've never done anything like this before. Well, they picked a fine time to start before I take that wagon train west. Smells like trouble's coming.
I'm sorry, son, about yesterday. I shouldn't be preaching to you at a time like this. Pa. Pa, I'm just so beat up over this. Pa, I'm thinking I won't be moving on with you. None of us will be moving on till she's well. California will wait. No, I'm saying more than that, Pa. I'm saying that Weednook and I are going to settle here. What? It's good land. You said so yourself. I, I did. Go on to California without us. You'll be staying here. You'll be adopting Injun ways. There's white folks here too, Pa. And a whole lot more Injuns. Pa, I married an Indian. I've come around to your way of thinking there ain't no harm in that. Because she's a Chisholm now. A might more Injun than Chisholm, but time and me will take care of that. You'll never change. Too old to be changing, even if it has a mind to. Too stubborn. Son, you're going to be head of this family someday. I got to think, Paul. Thinking won't change it. Now, you go on back to her. I'll be bringing in some more wood. towards the corral, we may be able to get inside. Don't worry, darling. We'll be at the fort in a few minutes. Gideon's the next. He never fought any wars, but uh, he's a crack shot. He's about as good a brother as could be, too. Really? Bo, let me help you with one of those. No.
engines off to the north. Tell the others. All right, everybody, inside, quick, let's go. We're inside the fort. Dirty Frank, come on. Hey, Bo, Betsy. Engines to the north, hundreds of them. What are you saying? Don't just stand there, sound the alarm. We're going to get our rifles. Hold it, sister. Santees, same as the ones we killed last night. The chief is still known. Mr. Blake knows him both. Too bad Blake's trading back east. They want a parlay. Come on, I'll take you and a couple of the others with me. Mrs. Johnson, take Rebecca. Let's just go out to the Indians. I'm going with you. You're staying here with your wife and your sister and your mom. Oh, I can handle a gun better than you. Hawkins said we're going to parley, not fight. And if it comes to that, then I want you here with the family. Stay close to your mom. But, Paul, you do like I tell you. First sign of trouble, Paul. We'll be there to help. I know you will. Get on back up there. You take care now. You know, Mim, I'd give I don't know what for just one cup of my own corn whiskey right now. Hawkins, I'd come out with you. I speak your language. Volunteering, Mr. Hackett? You getting brave? Only protecting my interests, sir. Miss Chisholm, I'd take it kindly if you'd mind this for me. What is it, Mr. Hawkins? If something happens, post it east.
Lek, Woki, a quah, yado. Ina, ado. Chopper, how we are. Ke, ki, a elo, wonky, a wonky, a kipo. Waniato, or a tectica. Macas is ne trezi, waniche. Says there's been a drought. It was very hard on his people because the buffalo went north in search of grasslands. Ah, hoi, be, peluki. E noma, noma, a kua. He wants grain to feed his people. He'll pay for it after the summer hunt. Can you give an Indian credit? I, I can't make an agreement like that without Mr. Blake's approval. He brought every warrior in his band armed to the teeth to back up his asking of a deal. Ask him about them three braves we shot last night. Mitoya de Omani. Oh, happy Chakta de la Blake tea. Ya da shock de la con. Metori at the kin, or yana omshne. Or yet, or lay him the loch. He says he didn't send them. They came on their own looking for animals to butcher to feed their families. I say give them what they need. Blackmail, pure and simple. If it comes to it, we better be ready to help Paul. Let's get down to the gate. Jeremy, Frank. What is it? We want your help, if need be. Doing what? If trouble comes, we'll have to get down to Paw and the others fast. Help you get back to the fort. We'll go. We're obliged. What do you think? It's your grain. I, I can't make a decision like that. I, I need some time. How much they want? A hundred sacks, he said. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> Tell him we need some time. Metawe! At the kilo! Chinkalo! He's gonna take all the food if we don't deal with him. Metawe! At the kiwa! It's simple enough. Give him what he wants or get ready for a fight. 100 sacks of grain ain't worth the fight. Just ain't worth it. Tell him we need two days to work out the details. Maybe Blake will be back. Um peg to nook. Um peg chalau. Eh, hanate. Away, ape peluke. Eh, na, anohak. Da hech hai. Aloe. Two days. Two. Good. Bought us some time to think it over. I just don't have the authority to make a decision like that. Mr. Blake... Now we know. He's away. Here we are, Pichnay. He told us. What'll it be like if they decide to fight? You been there, Will? What do you feel? Nothing but scared. You don't see nothing. You don't even feel it. Just scared to death. Two tens. Tens? You calling a raise with a pair of tens? Honey, you know card play. I dropped out with three eights. <laughs> well, I didn't know. You sure didn't. Hi. Jeremy Frank. Hello, hey, Gideon. Hi. Hi. Hello. Huh. Having you a little poker game, huh? Take some mine off the minions out there. Go, Gideon, help me. Play so I don't have to. Play? I ain't held cards since a trip down the Ohio. <laughs> Ohio River gamblers, watch out. <laughs> no river gamblers I ever heard about it play poker for dried beans. Well, as a matter of fact, we learned to play with... Stakes don't have to be high. Just high enough to make it interesting, huh? Who deals? Now I are cocky, but I have to. Now, cool your man, eh, you ha. Shate, eh, you ha. Shunkakan. Eh, Tawa? Tema, ayo! Don't worry, child. Ah. 
At least they cut me loose. Maybe it's a good sign. Oh! What are they gonna do to us, Jack? Don't take on yet. We may be okay. Just help me tend to the child. She's terrible frightened. some more of this tea. No tea. Please. For me? Tea over. Wind woman over. Must go soon. What do you say? We'll go to California. Alone. Wind woman must go. Say that again. Well, thank you for much sunshine. Might as well be broke as bent. I can find something better to put my last. 48 cents into and this handful of nothing. You bluff too many times, little brother. I'll call. No bluff this time. Three kings. Beats three tens. It's the froth out of two pair. That is what you call a bad run of card. Well, it's terrible you boys losing all that money. Jeremy, Frank, give it back. Come on, Betsy, they can't do that. Well, we wouldn't take it no how. Yeah, we'll have us another game. Next time, they'll be the losers. Just the same, I feel awful. You only played because I asked you to, and what well, doesn't seem right? Well, Betsy, well, we if we just, just don't kids, think that's it... right. How's Kawhi now, Pa? About the same. Your ma's tending to her. Now keep your voice down so she can rest. Sure, Pa. What is it, Bo? When you start wringing your hat, I know there's more a coming. Matter of fact, I do need to talk to you, Pa. Confidential, you might say. Confidential, it'll be then. Say it, Bo. Well, I knew girls back home and the like, but what I need to know is, how do you go about, well, you know, talking to a woman so she's impressed with you? Is she pretty? Yep. Is she nice and is she bright? Yep, to both. Then tell her she is. Compliment her. Pretty, nice, bright. In that order? The order of it don't matter at all. So make her feel special. And Bo, you just be your friendly own self. Thanks, Pa. Now, this special woman, would it be the lovely Betsy O'Neill? It would. Best of luck to you, son. You're looking east. California's the other way. I know. What's the matter? You seem troubled about something. You think it's true? There's a new life waiting for us in California? It's gotta be. I heard when you get to the top of the Rockies, your old life slides back on this side, your new one's waiting for you on the other. I like to think there's something new and exciting waiting for us out west. For us? For us, maybe. Betsy, you got the prettiest eyes I ever did see. Why, well, thank you, Gideon. What you planning on doing? Don't know yet. Gonna see Hawkins and Schwarzenbacher later on tonight. 
You still writing in that infernal book? I'm gonna have to sneak a look at it when I get too feeble to remember it all. No need to sneak, Pa. Except for one special chapter. It's just about what's been happening to us on our travels. I began it the day you told us about California. March 3rd, 1844. Pa and Willie have been out all afternoon. I didn't realize at the time that Pa... To everything there is a season. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to plant. And a time to pluck up that which is planted. He was good to us, this land, and my pa before me. But it wasn't meant to be for my sons. It ain't rightly in Ecclesiastes, pa, but there's a time for staying, and there's a time for going. Aye. But go where, Will? Ain't no good land to be had in Kentucky, or any place east of the Mississippi. I'm thinking California. California. It was a clear night in April. Biggest moon I ever saw. The night we left the home I'd known for 18 years in the hills of Virginia. Wheel, the clock. Now wrap it carefully. How many of those left in there? These are the last of them, Pa. <gasps> My brother turned. What are you looking at? That's the silliest looking hat in the world. It makes you look like a turtle. It's my pa's hat. It's gonna bring us good luck. A turtle? <laughs> All set then? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Pa. <laughs> set on us finding good land out west, but Ma wasn't keen on the idea. She was wanting to turn around every step of the way. You know how stubborn your Ma can be when she puts her mind to it. Could be something she learned from you, Pa. I was stubborn about that river right enough. Wanted no part of it. You don't expect me to cross the river on a thing like that? Person could get drowned out there in a minute. Your son's been to Louisville before, when he went to fight in Texas. He knows this river. He may know the river and not his Ma. Me and my goods won't be going down no river, thank you. Hadley, I want to go home. First thing in the morning. I want to turn around and go home. First thing in the morning, we're going west. You're going west, maybe. We're all going west. Ma, don't worry. I took a skiff down river and then got on a steamboat in shipping port. Well, let's all get on a steamboat down river, too. Cost too much. How much? Maybe $14 a piece. Plus whatever they charge for the wagon and animals. I doubt that even allow those board, Pa. Weren't none on the steamboat I took to New Orleans. Hadley, I'm going home. If I have to hire on with a traveling circus. Men. As a trapeze artist, don't appear that late. Well, it ain't dangerous. Current's not so fast. River changes width a lot. Sure happy to hear that. There's rocks and islands all along the way. Counting better all the time. Men, honey. Let's hunt to Louisville. We did see something of the country, though. And the big cities. St. Louis, Louisville, Independence. It was Louisville where we met Lester. He was to be our guide west. Plain it was, you were smitten. Rebecca's a proof of that. There's no denying Lester's charms. An hour. I couldn't sleep that long worrying about you. I heard sounds. I had to investigate. What sounds? I went in, I thought. You could have been killed. Hmm. Bonnie Sue, listen to me. Kiss me. Oh. Never stop kissing me. Oh, you're sweet. You're so sweet. I love you. I love you, Lester. Tell me, Bonnie Sue. Tell me you love me. I love you, yes. Again. I love you. 
I love you. I love you. Less just a chapter you can't read, Pa. For sure, it would blist my eyeballs. Lester did right by us, though, guiding the family down the Ohio. Sweet-talking though he may be, he saved us a pretty penny. And it was lovely. Lovely. Lovely as Annabelle, God rest her soul. She read me the scriptures on that boat. And good she was at a reading of it, too. Vanities of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor which he hath under the sun? Which he taketh under the sun. Which he taketh under the sun. One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh. They sure do. But the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteneth to his place where he arose. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Unto the place from whence the rivers come, Thither they return again. She was a sparkling child. I try to remember the good times we had. But I can't blot out of my mind those two days. for two days. Pa? <laughs> Have I been scalped, Pa? No, darling. Still got all your beautiful hair right where it's supposed to be. Uh, what happened to your ear that's all bandaged? Uh, Injun huh? figured I'd look best with but a single one. Did he take it from your head then? No, darling, it's still there. Uh, it's uglier than mules. It's still there. Uh, oh, my stomach hurts so. Yes, darling. I know. Oh, am I gonna die, Pa? No, no. Die. What put such a silly thought in your head? No, no, darling. Now, don't you worry. Just close your eyes. Try to get some rest. We'll be to Laramie before you know it. That's it. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment hath taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Oh, that my head were waters, and mine eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Amen. Go on, son. Lord. It's seared in my brain. Don't a day go by you without... You mustn't. Can't help myself, Min. Can't forget the look on our son's faces when they caught up with us here at the fort. Couldn't bring myself to tell him.
grown woman. You want to wrestle, you old fat back hog, huh? Ben. Ma? Ma? This here's Koidnook. Anyway, where's Annabelle? Yeah, where's that little darling? Where's she at, Ma? Gideon. Will. Will took it hard. And I made things worse when I told him I didn't want him to marry that engine he'd brought along with him. I want a cabin of my own, Pa. Planning to marry again. Who are you fixing to marry, son? Is it the squaw you come riding in with? And I know you're living down there with her. There ain't nothing wrong with a man taking his pleasure wherever he can get it. More than that, Pa. No. Pa, I'm asking you for that money. I'm asking you, please. No! I'm still the head of this family, and I'll be the one who decides where the money goes. I helped earn that money, Pa. Not to build no damn cabin for no squaw. She's a woman, Pa. Same as Ma. Same as Bonnie Sue. Same as... Son, I think we better leave off this conversation before we say things there's no turning back from. Let's get them said, then. Said all I got to say. I'm not giving you the money you want, and that's all I got to say. No, that ain't all. No, that ain't all. Your sister was killed by an Indian, and you're planning to marry one. One thing's got nothing to do with the other. Grandpa was killed by an Indian. Yes! Too. What's one thing got to do with the other? Go on back to your school. Pa, just go on. a grown man, Pa. Yes, I know you are. She died without me to care for her. She's alone down there, Pa. She's a woman, all alone. A squaw. Pa, I love her. Go to her, then. Go! You gave me what for her when I told Kuwait not to get out of our house? How wrong can a man be? It was them two hands birthed Bonnie Sue's baby. Our first grandchild. One of them renegade engines almost killed her. It was like almost losing one of our own. Still ailing she is. God give her strength. You've made up for it. You've shown Kawidnog all the love of a father for a child. But I heard Will so. I was afraid he'd never forgive me. Won't nothing come between the two of you again. You're right about that, Min. Guess I'll keep writing in this journal. Least ways till we get to California. I'll be able to read to Rebecca how the Chisholms came west. Of course, I'll have to leave out that one special chapter. Them dirt farmers for a pretty penny. <laughs> penny ain't pretty. Now, what's that mean? Who wants a penny if you can have diamonds and gold? You set diamond and gold necklace, Elmira Scott Scott. It is a beaut. How do you know that? I know lots. Uh -huh. I know she keeps the cedar box. And I know her husband, Jed, standing watch on the south wall right now. Frank, don't. <laughs> what is bothering you? I just don't want any trouble. This ain't no trouble. It's fun. <laughs> and if we refuse them, we're leaving ourselves open for a lot of killing. I don't want any killing any more than you do. But I don't trust their intentions. Gentlemen, the decision is not yours to make. The grain belongs to the American Fur Company. 
So make your decision, Schwarzenbacher, and I'll be heading back to my family. Well, Mr. Blake will be back any time. Possibly tomorrow. Possibly the day after. You got anything to drink about here? Well, it's Mr. Blake's. Under the circumstances, I don't think you'll mind. Mr. Hawkins? Don't drink, son. Thanks anyway. We'll settle this tomorrow, Chisholm. in the situation. An excitement this afternoon. I forgot to return your letter. Been carrying it a long time. Know it by heart. Was born out of love and drove me to hate. I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't curious about the letter, Mr. Hawkins. And why you entrusted it to me. Because I do trust you, ma'am. As to its contents, I don't mind sharing that with you now. To the New York Herald. Be it known that there's $1,500 of my funds on deposit at the United Bank of Baltimore. You ought to use this money as long as it lasts to print the following advertisement each year on the anniversary of my death. To Sergeant Major Raymond Edward Small, member of the Zebulon Pike Expedition, 1807. I damn your memory forever. Signed, Cooper Hawkins. Powerful lot of hate, Mr. Hawkins. But where is the love? Well, there was love a time ago. Shoshone girl named Lota. I was going to marry her, take her east. I was a scout with Zeb Pike's expedition. Sergeant Major Edward Small said the Shoshones stole a musket. The chief, Lota's father, said they had none. Small blew the entire village to kingdom come. No one survived. Spike himself stopped me from killing Sergeant Major Raymond Edward Small. I never did go east. Been right with them engines? Don't know yet, men. We're waiting on Blake. Hope he gets back in time. Where is it ever going to end? California, that's where. Rich peat soil, plenty of rain, plenty of sunshine. To make the growing easier on a farmer who ain't getting any younger. Now, don't go talking old. Ain't as young as Cooper Hawkins. I seen you talking by the fire. Why, Hadley Chis. You're still young enough to be getting jealous. No. Oh, but it becomes yeah. Men. <laughs> <laughs> Lester? Thanks. Them two are watching us real careful. Just like we're watching them. I'm gonna lose her, Lester. She's gonna die. I'm sorry, Will. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Being sorry just ain't good enough. I gotta do something. There's not much you can do. Lester, I need a favor of you. Ask it. Do some translating for me with those Sioux out there. Why? I want their medicine man to see the Kuidnook. I doubt he'd be inclined that way, Will. 
You probably couldn't help her anyway. There's a lot more to Indian medicine than roots and herbs and chant. There's a lot of truth in it, too. If you whites can see it. You might be right. Well, you coming with me or not? You're asking me to ride into a hostile engine camp in the middle of the night and ask a medicine man to take care of a white man's wife? It does sound kind of crazy, don't it? <laughs> yep. Bonnie Sue, open up. I ain't gonna make the same mistake twice, so you can go sleep with the mules. I need some white muslin. What in heaven's sakes for? You cold out there? Bonnie Sue. All right. What do you need the muslin for? For a peace sign. Will's going to the Indian camp to ask medicine man to help Queen them. Things that you don't speak their tongue, I'm gonna go along with them. Let's do that safe. We're going peaceable. This might be the only way to save her. Anyways, I owe Will a favor. For loving you and listening to you, and they're all for hanging me. Lester Hackett, you're a source of never-ending amazement to me. Lester? Be careful. Pa, Pa, wake up. I need to talk to you, Pa. What is it? Something wrong with Rebecca? No, no. Lester and Will have gone out to the Indian. They're going to ask the medicine man to help Kawidnuk. Calm down, darling. Lester speaks their tongue, and it's a peaceful mission they're on. Let's just go on up there and have a look. Get her to Blake's quarters and see to her wounds. Miss Chisholm, can you give us a hand? Of course. Chai Chai Inkset. Wasicho. Kipeshuta washte. Yohopalo. Se hanane pezuta washte hilo. Nawike le seko echo. Dashapele tokamayusahe. Ah, watch delicate. Tatine. <laughs> well, it was dark, so I couldn't see anything, but but I heard her moan when I was passing by. And then she stumbled out and, and fell into my arms. And she was bleeding and bleeding. Them renegade engines. We can't let them get away with this. We should attack them. 
Ain't nobody attacking no Indians until we get to the bottom of this. She lost a lot of blood, but she ain't gonna die. We should teach them heathens a lesson. There ain't gonna be no killing. It ain't your wife lying there, Mr. Hawkins. I'm sick of your dealing with them engines. Just we attack them now, Hawkins. We get them before they get us. There ain't nobody going nowhere. I'm Wagon Master here. We can fix this. Yeah. 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 We'll take care of you. Get guns and meet up at the back gate. Yeah. Bonnie Sue, you tend to Mrs. Scott. Men, go get Bo and Gideon. Will's out there. I'm going to try to stop him. We just shall jail it, try. Jab kept in the law. Hep, hook a head, ja. Yak, yapi. Yagavi, he, he. Why should we ask you help? Kau, you snail, oh. Hey, ya, be a hash of snake. Why shoot your hand up? Why should we a hand up? Gaga fell off. Said she's your slave, not your wife. We were married. The Indian way. I love her and she loves easy. me. Well, easy. Walk could talk and he talk and he use her. Hey, Oya, can die, gee, low. We got the advantage, men. The surprise. Now, we're going out back, split up, and circle around behind them. If we stay low, we can get position and open fire. Men, you can't be doing this. Nobody knows for sure it was an engine's responsible. I want you to think twice. Seeking vengeance will come to no good. You've had your say, Chisholm. Back off. Listen to me. My son's out in that engine camp trying to find help for his dying wife. At least give him some time to get out of there before you go storming in and killing everybody. We ain't in the waiting mood, Chisholm. So, boys, shoot for them red engines. Maybe your son will get lucky. Men, you can't do this. <laughs> trouble with you, Wagon Master. You move away from that door. Keep coming, I'll blow you to hell. You want to be first, McBeady? I'm going back inside. Now! Thank you, Mr. Hawkins, for what you've done. You saved a lot of innocent people from harm. To hell with innocent people. I don't want no trouble with them engines. We have no pinky hair, huh? We have to have one block of cello. Oh, they just have a car of cello. He say, thank the man, Will. He's going to see you in the morning. She'll die of exposure. And she'll die by doing nothing. At least this ain't nothing. Well, Will, don't you think... Have. Let him go. But... Some things are best not interfering with. I think you're doing right, Will. Thanks, Bunny Sue. Out for the law. I'll take her myself. The time for talking and translating's over. Thanks, anyway. The thing that shrivels my skin is what them Chisholms is planning on. They're actually going to take that squall west with them, in their wagon, if she lives.
Can you recollect for me what happened last night? She was near killed for a necklace. That's what happened last night. Was you missing it when you retired? I didn't have time to know. Someone grabbed me. I wanted to scream, but his hand was choking my mouth. Did you see that hand that was choking you? I did. It was an engine hand. Not in this engine, just taking the wearing gloves. Mr. Hawkins. I'm sorry about last night. I kind of lost my head. Could have got a whole lot of people killed. Then you would have been sorrier. Got ourselves a thief and a cutthroat amongst us. We'll ferret him out on the trail for sure. you do it? What are you talking about? Miss Scott was stuck with a knife. Her husband's now saying they were robbed, too. The gold necklace is missing. Don't go playing Sunday school teacher with me. Don't be making fun of me. Answer me. Yes or no. Sis, we've been sleeping right here. Never since things quieted down last night. Isn't that right, Jeremy? Yeah, that's right. We were going to leave that life behind. Find something new and better out west. You never had no part and no robbery. Now, you're thinking all wrong, Bets. You're lying. He's telling the truth, Bets. We'll never set him lying. Betsy? Where are you going? I want to talk to Gideon for a while. Blood runs thick between us, Bets. It always has and it always will. I sure hope you didn't do it. morning, if this deal don't work, they'll probably be coming at us. I want you looking at me and listening to me and not panicking. Now, they'll probably attack from more than one direction, setting up a diversion and hitting this hard on the other side. Hadley, I want you to take six men and cover the west wall. Manly, you take six and be on the east. Who can work that cannon? I can. Learn how in Texas in 30 seconds. Good. Best thing in case of attack is get the children to the rooms at the rear of the fort. We gotta get this thing settled. But, but, nothing. Mr. Hawkins, going west is our goal, right? A thought strikes me that might serve us well. Yeah? Give the engines half the grain now. And the other half when we move through the South Pass. Then we're guaranteed 300 miles of safe passage. Of course, they could jump us any time they want. 
First hint of their trying will torch the whole lot, be part of the deal. They want the grain more in trouble. Sounds agreeable, Chisholm. They might just go for it. Then we're settled. Settled. I protest. Mr. Blake, settled. settled. This works, Chisholm. I hope it's all that's left for us now. If they want it all now, we got a hell of a fight on our hands. Umpe toy, watch the halo, Tahona. Umpe toy, watch the halo. Chi glichini, chakahaya. Gichi licha. Don't worry, Ma. Ma's as good a trader there is. Your pa's a farmer. When he's not selling whiskey. What do you think's gonna happen, Will? I don't know, kid. Indians are proud. I just hope they'll take that offer of half the grain. Hey, a hawk to hit your snake. Not good. We could be in for it. Yeah. What did you plan? Not you. Ooh, it's our liar, yo. Now what do we do we take up to Takuya kate ana kichu pelo. He's agreed. They done it.
big pocket of the Mississippi gambler. What a poker face he showed them in. I was scared to death something was going to go wrong. I may not be the bravest man, but I wouldn't let anything happen to you, Bonnie Sue. I think you're a lot braver than you let on, Lester. Like that time back in Illinois where you went out to the highway. I remember. It was there we... No need to go into that part of it, Lester. You told me you loved me. You told me you never stopped loving me. It was loving you I was afraid of back there in Illinois, Bonnie Sue. <laughs> I'll never forgive myself for leaving you. When you talk to me like that, I forget all the bad things I know about you and remember only the good. Maybe I wasn't strong enough, but it's different now. I want to take care of you. Loving you is the only thing I've done right in all my life. Oh, Lester, I do love you. Bonnie Sue, hmm? I've asked you a hundred times, and I'll keep on asking you. For the love of God, will you set the date? Yes, Lester. Hmm. I don't know what I would have done if anything had happened to you, darling. Moping around for days while you were sitting there. No more talk. Kiss. Oh, I don't mean to disturb you, son. I wonder, might I have a word with Kuwait Nook? And you think she's up to it? Well, she's feeling fine. This man did a right fine job on her. Yes, I see. Good, good. Could I talk to her alone, Will? Please? Sure. Thanks. Kuwait Nook, I. I'm sorry for the ill will I bore you. I'm sorry for the pain I caused you when you first rode in with my son, with your husband. Pure ignorance on my part. Mr. Chisholm, I understand. You're a good man. Your son is a good man. You love him and I love him. I'd be good wife to him. I, Kuwait, I come to believe you will. I might late, perhaps. I prayed to God for your life. Whose will had the good sense to have faith in your own kind to restore you. Maybe my kind and your God the same. I done it again, didn't I? Mouth working with the mules thinking. I'm sorry again, Queen. No, Mr. Chief. I'd like you to speak honestly. You are a wise and patient man. Patient? Your mother-in-law would disagree with you there. Mother-in-law? What is that? Oh, it's kind of near kin. Kin in marriage. Minerva, my wife. Well, you just call Minerva Ma. And you call me Pa. Now that the ring business is over, we come to, uh, let me see, uh, it's been some time between weddings. Oh, yeah, one more formality here. If any of you here can say why and give just cause as to why these two shouldn't be joined together in holy matrimony, say so now forever hold your peace. Well, that's said. Do you, Bonnie Sue Chisholm, promise to love, honor, and obey this man till death do you part? I do. Do you, Lester Hackett, promise to love and cherish this woman till death do you part? Yes, sir. Then I'm going to ask the Lord to bless this union, and I pronounce you man and wife. Well, kiss the bride. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. I appreciate the job you've done. You know, every time I turn around, there's more of you, Chisholm. I adopt you a daughter, I marry you a son-in-law. Now there's just one more thing I gotta do for you. What's that? First sign of spring, I'm taking you to California. Oh, amen to that. <laughs>